We're going to find a formula for the sequence 0 1, 0 1, 0 1, 0 1, and so on forever. As we can see, this is just a repeating sequence with 0 and 1, 0 and 1, and so on, right? Okay, before we do anything, let's have a convention first. Right here, this is our first term, and I will have this to be n is equal to 1, alright? And the next one is when n is equal to 2, and then n is equal to 3, and then so on forever. Of course, we could have done it with n is equal to 0 to begin with, but let's just use n is equal to 1 to start with, okay? Okay, here's the idea. Whenever we're trying to write a formula for any sequence that's repeating, most of the time, we can just use sine cosine because that's, you know, periodic functions, so it's going to produce repeating sequence. But in this case, we can avoid using that as well, and let's do that first, okay? So here we have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and so on. Let's look at this part first. If we take negative 1 and put it in a parenthesis raised to the nth power, we are not talking about functions, so we can actually have a negative number for the base if you're talking about sequence, because the n are just positive whole numbers, right, for our choices of the n values. So this is okay. If this is what we have, let's see, when n is 1, we will have negative 1 to the first power. That will give us negative 1 for the first term, right? And when n is 2, we get parentheses negative 1 squared. That will give us positive 1. And then, likewise, for the rest. So as you can see, this will give us negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, and so on, right? And look at, even though the first term is negative 1, but the next term, when n is equal to 2, we have the 1, which is similar to that, right? And then the best part is, this right here, it does repeat, just like the original, the one that we want to find out. Okay, so we are making a good progress, but I really want all the odd terms right here to be zeros rather than negative 1. Okay, we have negative 1. How can we make negative 1 equal to 0? We know negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so it would be so nice if I can just add 1 to this and then we'll be having a 0, right? Now, let's look at another part of the sequence. So, this is just going to be the constant sequence, namely just 1, alright? As I said, this is a constant sequence, and if you would like, you can put on 1 and then raise to the nth power, and then you see when n is 1, you get 1 to the first power is 1, when n is 2, you get 1 to the second power, which is still 1, and then so on forever, right? And of course, 1 to the nth power is always 1, so you can just erase this part. This is just a constant sequence. And now, if we add both sides. Here is the formula part, right? Let's put it down as 1 go first, and then we add it with this. Negative 1 to the nth power, like that. Looking at this, we will see it's going to produce negative 1 plus 1 is 0, and then 1 plus 1 is 2, and then 0 again, 2 again, 0 again, 2 again, and this right here keeps on going forever, right? And you see how cool this is, because this is almost the same as that, but instead of the 2, we want to have the 1, right? Well, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And the reason I want to say divide instead of subtract 1 is because I don't want to mess up the zeros. So now, we can just look at the left-hand side and divide this by 2, which will imply we'll just divide all the terms by 2, isn't it? And now, we will see that's the formula. At the end, we will have this, 1 plus negative 1 to the nth power over 2. This formula will produce 0, and then 1, and then 0, and then 1, and then 0, and then 1. And this will keep on going forever. This is good for n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Right? So here is an answer for the formula for this sequence. And now let's take a look of how we can also use sine cosine to help us out. Okay, here's another way to approach this sequence. And keep in mind, whenever we are dealing with a repeating sequence, most of the time we can use the trick function for it. The one that we have is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and so on, right? 
This is kind of like running around a circle, isn't it? Because it's repeating. And you see, when you are running around a circle, that should remind you of the unit circle, right? So now let's just take a look of the unit circle right here, OK? So of course, you know you're just running around a circle. That's why use a trick function, because this is circular. This is periodic, right? It repeats. And you know here are four important points, right? This point here is 1, 0. This point right here is 0, 1. And this one right here is negative 1, 0. And this one right here is 0, negative 1. And it keeps repeating, right? OK, and this is, of course, 0 radians. And this right here is, of course, pi over 2 radians. And this is pi, and then 3 pi over 2. And then, of course, you can also say this is the same as 2 pi, and so on, forever. Of course, you can also go this way. but positive directions this way. OK, so now we are kind of running around a circle. How would you like to run around a circle? OK, this right here, we start off with 0. If you look at this point, if you want to use this point first, then you can talk about the 0 here, which is the sine value, right? So per perhaps we can do that. This right here, it's a sine value. OK, so let's see. I just want to start off with sign with you guys, all right? Well, I know that starting from this point, I go to the next one, it will be 1, right? If you're looking at the y value, namely the sign value. 0, 1, 0. That's good for the first three terms. And then the next one will be negative 1, but I want to have positive 1. How can I make a negative 1 to be a positive 1? It's OK. To just take the absolute value, right? So that's good. And you see, every single time when I jump from here to here, I have to go up by pi over 2, right? And then pi over 2, pi over 2, and so on. So we can just take the sine function, and each every time we go up by pi over 2. So it's a multiple of pi over 2 times whatever n that you are talking about. Now, here's the technical part. This right here is when n is equal to 1, though, right? So be sure you want to have n is equal to 1. If I do plugging n is equal to 1 here, in fact, you are talking about sine of pi over 2. You're actually looking at this point here. But I want to start right here, so that's easier. 0, 1, 0, and so on, right? Well, this is pi over 2. I can just shift it back right here. So the, what I can do is look at this. and minus 1 to that. How is that? Aha! Once again, I want to start with 0, even though the index right here starts with 1, but that's OK. I can just do n minus 1, and when n is equal to 1, this is 0, and you're talking about this point, right? And then when n is equal to 2, pi over 2 times 2 minus 1, which is 1, so you are talking about pi over 2, and the sign value right there is 1. And then the next one will be 0, and then negative 1, and so on, right? You don't want to have any negative numbers because of this. So you can just do the absolute value at the end like that, right? This is also going to produce 0, 1, 0, 1. So that's it for the sine function. This is another answer for this sequence. Why not use cosine as well? Let's take a look. Suppose if I want to use cosine, well, this sequence starts with 0, 1, 0, 1. In fact, we'll be looking at this here, because this right here is 0. If I start with 0 here, the next one will be negative 1. It's OK, I can take the absolute value. And then 0, and then 1, and then 0, and then negative 1, and then 0, and then 1, and so on, right? OK, each every time, I still go up by pi over 2. So I will just put down pi over 2. In this case, in fact, I just need to have an n. This is it. And don't forget to take the absolute value as well. This right here. When n is equal to 1, plug into here, you get cosine of pi over 2, which you are talking about this point here. right? And that's going to give you 0. And when n is equal to 2, you are talking about cosine of pi, which is right here. It's negative 1, 
but the absolute loop for you will make everybody happy. So you get all this, right? Okay, anyway, this and that are the answers as well. And you can also try it with tangent. And now, here's a challenge for you guys. Find a formula for the sequence 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 001. And be sure you comment your answer down below, alright? And I will have another video for you guys. As of now, that's it. So good.